Hello and how are you all today? The question says a window is in the form of a rectangle by a semi circle. Surmounted by a semi circle. If the total perimeter of the window is 30 meters, find the dimensions of the window so that maximum light is admitted. So let us firstly draw a rough figure. This is a rectangle and it is surmounted by a semi circle like this. Right. Now here, since this is the diameter, this will be radius, radius and radius. This will be twice of the radius. Right, and let us name this figure as A, B, C and D. Now we need to find out the dimensions of this window so that maximum light is admitted. So first of all, we are given the perimeter of the window as 30. Meter. Now, if you carefully observe, this perimeter of this window is perimeter of the rectangle plus the circumference of the semicircle. That is equal to 30 meter. Now, in solving it, we have 4 length plus 4 breadth plus pi r equal to 60. That implies, now in place of length, we can write 2R plus 4 breadth, let breadth be X plus pi R equal to 60. This further implies 8R plus 4X plus pi R is equal to 60. That is, we have 4x is equal to 60 minus, let's take r in the bracket, we are left with 8 minus pi in it. And on dividing the whole equation by 2, we have 2x equal to 30 minus 2. Sorry, it had 2 with it all the way. So now we are left with the bracket in 4 minus pi. Now further, the area of the window is equal to area of the rectangle that is length into breadth length is 2r and breadth is x plus area of the semicircle that is pi r square upon 2 now here in place of x we can write down 30 minus r pi plus 4 plus pi r square upon 2. Now, on simplifying it further, we have it as 60r minus 2 pi r square minus 8R square. This further gives us 60R minus 8R square. Now in combining these two we have minus 3 pi R square upon 2. So this is the required area of the window. Now, for admitting 
maximum light the area of the window must be maximum and it is now a e is maximum when da by dx is equal to 0 and d square a upon dx square is less than 0. Right. So, let us first find out the derivative of the area that is d by dx of the area that is 60r minus 8r square minus 3 pi r square upon 2. And we will be differentiating it with respect to r, sorry. This implies dA by dr is equal to 60 minus 16r minus 6 pi r upon 2. This further implies dA upon dr is equal to 60 minus 16r minus 3 pi r. Now, on putting this value equal to 0, let us find out the value of r. We have, after taking r common from here, we are left with, in the bracket, 16 plus 3 pi equal to r. This implies 60 upon 16 plus 3 pi is equal to r. Now, let us find out the second derivative. It will be equal to minus 16 minus 3 pi, which is obviously less than 0. So therefore, we can say that area of the window is maximum when r is equal to sixty upon sixteen plus three pi. Let us find out the length also then. The length of the rectangle is equal to two into r. This gives us 120 upon 16 plus 3 pi and the breadth that is x which we took initially is coming out to be 30 minus r in the bracket 4 plus pi upon 2 which is 15 minus substituting the value of r and dividing it by 2, we have 60 upon 2 in the bracket 16 plus 3 pi into 4 plus pi, which is equal to 15 minus 30 upon 16 plus 3 pi to 4 plus pi. Right, so we have the radius, length and breadth. So this completes the session. Hope you understood it well. Have a nice day.